Welcome back, everypony. This is Super Wee Dude and a Link to the Past. Back from that hockey game, and, uh, yeah, the Admirals, they lost the game, and I don't care. Anyways, moving on with the gameplay. There is a thing here. Uh, you can pay 30 rupees to open two chests, and that's 50 rupees. That's a heart. Okay. Uh... There we go, okay, we got it. Grab some money, I guess. Because, um, if, it, if, you know, one silly game that involves chance to get what you want wasn't bad enough, we gotta play another one. Isn't that wonderful? So, basically, you head uh, to the south of town. And not this arrow place. That would actually require talent. <laughs> no, we need to go over here. Where there's this weird guy. And you can dig up his lawn, I guess, for 80 rupees. There it is! Finally! Okay, we got it. We're out of here. Okay. <sighs> the next thing we need to do involves the town some more, so... We should probably head back to it. Alright. Like this dude right here. You need to talk to him. Yeah, I didn't change. I'm not ordinary. Yeah. Yeah, he's worried about his partner, and he's gonna follow us because we're gonna be helpful and take him to his friend. But in the meantime, you know, let's hang out in the dark world a little more and um, pound some stakes. Because you see, there's a lot of stakes in this big old field over here. Of, you know, just a big old field in this. Careful, if you damage these uh, zombie birds enough times, um, 
They will attack you like regular ones. Cuckoos. You don't want that, do you? And the stump magically transforms into some stairs. And we get another heart piece. Amazing. And I guess we can use the mirror here. And he turns into a beard bearded um, dwarf looking guy. And he will happily, you know, take back up his position as one of the blacksmiths. So he can exit and come back in and have them temper your sword for 10 rupees. That's pretty cheap. Why not? And while you don't have a sword, you can kind of sort of punch. Don't know if it really does anything, though. Doesn't look like it. They can't even hurt a chicken. Yeah, I'm just looking for trouble now. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anyone around. I don't care. But yeah, punching is useless. Don't ever try to punch anyone. It won't do anything, ever. Because it's lame. Uh, let's see here. And, um, you know, now that we've been gone for a bit, we get our new tempered sword. It's really strong and stuff. And it's orange. Now that that's done, you can find this crazy little treasure chest here that you can't open yourself. You know, that we somehow know there's a key inside that belongs to it. So we're just going to go ahead and take it with us. You can go ahead and take it with you to the light world. Oh yeah, and I just remembered uh, something important I need to do. So let's go to that. Oh wait, no, no, no. Don't run away from your treasure chest. So I forgot, I forgot, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, treasure chest. Just come back with me. Yeah, you can't dash with the uh, thing. I guess if you had the frog guy with you before too, you couldn't dash because you'd lose him. But either way, you need to come here and use the flute. The ocarina, you know. <clears throat> and we're free to Stucky. And, you know, because he's so grateful for being freed, you know, he'll, he'll be real helpful and uh, do things for us. Such as, when we play the ocarina again, he will carry us to one of these, uh, let's see, eight locations, I guess. And the one we want to carry us to is over here. And we can take this treasure chest over this way. Where there's an army of birds. And one red soldier. Don't know what they're doing here, but that's where they are. Apparently somehow he heard that we know that he's a thief. And um, he will... Okay, this doesn't exactly make the most sense to me. If you heard that I know that you're a thief from someone else, wouldn't it be already obvious that other people already know that I know, uh, whatever. But yeah, you can just promise to keep it a secret, he'll give you a bottle and such. It's kind of confusing though. But, it's not that big a deal. I guess we could just kind of warp back to the village now. Thank you, Ducky. Oh, here it is. Okay, so. Got the digging game all the way. Um, the next thing we need to do is go back to the dark world. And I believe I left my portal. My handy dandy portal over here somewhere. I've only had a dark world portal gun. That'd make things so much easier. You just kind of just. <laughs> and there we go. That'd be cool. But either way. Now we're back in the dark world. I can get some more things. The first of which is this way, near where we first went to Death Mountain, 
you believe? Oh, there's a fork flying at me. I don't want that to hit me. Oh, thank you. And see, that right up there is what we need and want, so that's what we're going to be trying to go ahead and get. Of course, we're going to have to go through a bit of a cave. <laughs> little bouncy thing there. get across this you gotta use your hook shot and to get underneath this you need to become well well hold on there buddy become invisible and you can kind of just pass through it I always think under because you turn you practically turn into a shadow I don't it's just the way I think about it I guess All right, all right. So we got that one. The next ones you got to go towards the graveyard. Can I squeeze through there? Okay, good. I can. I'm curious what's inside there. I'm gonna climb up here. And we find ourselves a cave. And we can bomb this back wall to discover a piece of heart. Much more left to get now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Okay. So <clears throat> the next thing we need to do is actually go this way because we're gonna go back up to. Wait, hold on. Can I just use my my little bird friend? I think I can use my bird friend for this. Yeah, I think. Well, not really. Sort of. Yeah, okay, there, this is further. Good, that's much better. So basically, we gotta get back up the mountain. I'm just gonna endure these rocks. Eh. Instead of having to go through the darkness. So uh, we need to go back to where that first Dark World portal was. Come on, out of the way. Go on, move, and use it. And like right beneath it, there's a oh look at that fairy. There's a thing that you need. You can jump down, and there's a cave you can go inside of. You can only come through here if you have the hammer, and you can only really survive if you have the proper equipment Ah uh, shoot Yeah, left it. Left it. Thank you. Okay. And uh There's a lot of hearts here. And inside the stretch there's a Cane, which is pretty cool, but yeah, I don't have enough magic. Oh shoot! I guess I could. The best way to get out of here is I guess save quit. Hey, 
And that takes us to the next place we need to go. Oh, <laughs> isn't that amazing? Um, I mean, on this this pyramid, if you go over here, you can get this. How nice! And that totally fills us up. Uh, hey, stop following me. Uh, those two. Oh yeah, there's one more thing I need to do, and that would be... Uh, out of the way. Oh, I'm trying to magic. Oh, shoot. That isn't good at all. Um, where I need to go is over here. So, I'm gonna use the mirror. You're not messing with me, bird. Where's the island eye? I think it's down there. But basically, I'm gonna go to the fountain and, uh, get the rest of the bombs. Ah, shoot. In both bombs and arrows, so now that we've done that. Let's do something about my magic. I going to two. Yeah, you can kind of just fly right to here. First, you can talk to her and get a. Huh? Should we fill your? Um, life. But not your magic. So I'm just gonna go and die a few of these. Okay, there we go. That'll do it. And then I'm going to use the bird one last time. This time going here. And swing back. Ah, ah I blocked it somehow. Back here and lifting this rock to reveal a portal. And this portal leads to the next dungeon. So yeah, next time we'll take on the frosty frozen ice dungeon place. See you then, everybody.